Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Aurora 4X. Now, we actually haven't had any time pass since the last episode whatsoever. There will be time passing. I will uh, make sure there's a little bit of time where we refit and rearm and ready to go back. But we need to do a few things. And firstly and foremostly is we need to actually make some new missiles. Because ours are kind of lacking and they could, get, they could be a bit better. They could be a bit more punch. They could be a bit more duty. You know what I mean. They, they just... We're behind on technology right now of our missiles, and since all it does is take a quick, like, quick bit to, you know, research the missile engine, the missile itself, that we can just produce it, fit it in the same launcher, fire it. It's not a problem. So we should probably start with that. So, we're going to pull up the, um, uh, tech. Jump to missile engine. And in fact, I'm just going to quickly pop into... Tech, missile, engine, and I'm going to obsolete all of these. Now, I wish I could do a obsolete all, but I can't. So I have to do them one by one. Now, there is something said for having a warship that has a backup weapon after we use all our missiles. Because the problem in that fight is we could have closed the distance and killed them. I think they were out of anti-missile uh, missiles, which is why we tanked them against one of our ships. They fired them all off, and then we were like, ha, we still have missiles left. And they were like, oh, crap. Um, we could have just closed the distance. We could have finished them off with any other weapon, but we didn't have one. So maybe in future we'll actually put a weapon on our ships. It's uh, not ammo dependent. But for now, missile engine. So... Let us bring down our good old-fashioned Excel document. It's available on the forum. You just have to go search for it. Not on the forum, on, on Reddit. R slash Aurora. I should probably put the link in one of the videos. In fact, someone's probably commented down below. They did in the first video. People were asking me where the link is, and I was like, someone commented in the description, in the thing. But I should probably put it in the description anyway. But yeah, you can find this on the Reddit. It's quite easy to find. Um, we need to check what our stats are. So what can we do? Engine power. Max. Five times. Fuel consumption. 0.5 if we push this over here missile design uh, we're on 6 for that and our agility is 64 okay and I believe we're still using uh, magnetoplasma drive right so 64 5 getting weird okay fuel consumption 0.5 500 uh, magnetoplasma which is 0.8 this is 64. And damage is 6. Just double check that. Yes, damage is 6. Okay. So we can make some pretty badass missiles. Notice that we've got some pretty decent hit chances, etc. Uh, range, a little bit on the short side. I did like my long range missiles. Hmm. Right. Min fuel. If we say 0.5. Point six, point seven. Okay, screw it. One point four. Okay, now we're talking. That would work. Let's just double check what the exact uh, specifications of our current designs are. Now we could always we could always refit them and have them have a better fire control. That is a possibility. And so I'm definitely considering with that uh, anti-missile fire control. Alright, Spirit of Craig. You have a fire control of 270. And if we check the Graceland, fire control of 270. Okay. We don't have to go to 270. In fact, I prefer a slightly higher hit chance, maybe. Um, it should be fine. The Freya class should be a rarity, and I assume it's super specialized. Try a bit higher fuel. Hmm. 
Mm, screw it. Okay, we're gonna get close. Is that worth it? Compared to if we went with 1.4? I don't know. I think 1.4 would be fine. Uh, this brings our range up to here. All right, this is the one we'll go for. So we're looking at uh, engine MSP 202. Uh, roughly a one for agility. Yeah, well, let's just assume that, actually, because that is actually in between those. So one for agility. 202, one for agility. And then the rest is uh, fuel. Sure. I mean, we could increase the damage to 16. And then minimum fuel, uh, let's try changing that down to like 0.5. That isn't at all terrible. It does massively cut the uh, the range. Now, the reason I'm not going to do that is because if I find them firing missiles at me again, they did a lot of damage. I need to fire missiles first. If I do not fire my fire missiles first, we die. It's that simple. Unfortunately. All right, 202. And about one fuel. Right. Uh, missile design. Class design. There we go. Missiles. Uh, it's really tempting to instant these because the only thing is they're not much to research. But then I have to remember, then I have to add them to the missile. I just rather to do it all at once. It's frustrating. Uh, but yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. And you're meant to be 202. Uh, two. Oh, two. Double check. Yes. 8.08. Uh, magnetoplasma drive. That is fine. Sure. And I think you're Shane Kills, aren't you? Great. I think so. I've obviously the old one, so I can't find out. Um, then we want to check out our point defense ones. I probably need to overhaul the point defense. So desired damage is one. And that is one. And that should be point one. In fact, that range is too high. About zero one. Better. We're still looking at intercept chances of only 50% at 2,500 meters a second. And we know they fire 33, sorry, 25,000. We know they fire 33,000. So we're going to have to go for this one. I don't think we're going to go any lower than that on fuel, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, it doesn't change many things. Uh, okay, well, what if we went... Honestly, I like the slightly improved range. It means I can always use it as an offensive weapon if need be. Costs a couple of percent. It's probably worth it. I can always target the Freya. Even then, the Freya, pff, good chance of dodging. Yeah, let's go for 0 0.04. We'll go for you which is uh, 0.45 for the engine. Very well. Uh, let's bring up engine. That is not the engine. That's an engine. 0.45. And you're the Shane kills. If I put that name there, does it go in front? Let's try. Someone did say I could do that. They would just save it in front. All right. Tech. Um, I'm going to need to pinch labs. And these will be under power propulsion? Yeah, it does put it in front. Like, look at that. 90 research point. 404. I should have just instanted them. It would just been so much simpler to do in my head. Um, but because since we're doing it this way, we'll do it properly. Uh, I will rip research labs off of you temporarily. 
And then I would like you to do that. And then I would like you to do that. I mean, it'll take you all of... Um, till July? Oh! There we go. Take you all of like a month to do all of them. Uh, research, 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 research. Uh, yeah, okay, I think we're done. I don't think there's anything there I need to do. Five days, and I should do the second one, I'm hoping. Yeah. Research labs are inactive, uh, which means I can... I'll reallocate them in a minute, because we're going to need to, because we have to design some missiles. Uh, so, close you, because unfortunately I need to reopen you. Class design. Do you have a missile button here? No. Missile design. Right. I would like to allocate shop, because I've got that up in my window right now. I can see that we need a 0473 in the fuel. 0473 warhead of 0 0.33333 3. 0 0.183 isn't it something like that let's just double check how much is the warhead value Six, seven, okay. Yeah, obviously. My mouse is terrible today. And that makes the agility something along the lines of... Yeah, that's our puppy. Right, and you are the... Chipmunk. Size one, anti-missile missile. missile uh, range... 11.8 million kilometers. Uh, round that to 12. Um, what else was there? Oh, no. Speed, then range. Speed, 36k. Range, 1, 2. And then it is a 70% chance. What are we quoting? 10k distance? Call it 10k, 115%. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Create. Then, we're going to switch it up a bit. 1.5. And fuel, I remember, is a straight up, was it a 1? No, I'm doing this wrong. 1.5. Might be a 2. I don't know. I can't remember. What does that give us for range? That range is too high. Okay, uh, I would like 6. Desired damage, 9. And you're 1.4. There's our 202. Agility was 1. Ah, right. One point four eight. That does seem about right. Speed is still slightly slower than their missiles. Yep, still can't be helped. Okay, uh, I think you're good as you are, chip monk. Anti ship missile. Then let's start. Oh wait, size six. I didn't quote the warhead in the previous one, did I? Should have quoted the warhead. Size 6, warhead 9. Oh, well, it's an anti-missile missile. It probably doesn't need to be stated. ASM. Well, size 6 ASM, warhead 9. That's probably the second thing we need to know after it's a anti-ship missile. 
the, the size thing is very important to state. Then what it is, and ship missile, then the warhead size. Then speed, which is uh, 27, okay. Then range, which is 171, okay. Actually, 171 millions, so I'm just leave it as it is. And then percentage, which is at 10k, 10k, 57%. Great. Okay, and then let's start researching that. Yeah, it shouldn't take us too long. Create. And then Q. Take you until like a few days after March to get all of them done. They've completed their overhaul. Okay, I wonder how the uh, Sekuli is doing because the Sekuli got pretty beat up. Sekuli, 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 Sekuli. Yeah. I assume the no security's completed our overhaul. How do I do a repair? I just don't know how to do a repair. Sekuli. Hmm. I actually don't know. Might be in shipyard. Um, repair. There we go. I would like to repair a Spirit of Craig. It's Uh You'll be done pretty soon. Excellent. The other thing else was damaged, so we're fine. Now we completed research into our uh, that one, and now we're doing the anti-missile missile. Badger failed to load infrastructure on Mars because we're out of infrastructure on Mars. That tends to be the reason. Sekuli was repaired. Certain crew added to the ship, changing the grading to blah blah. Team on Earth has researched Chipmunk. Sweet, which means that I can. By the way, how much fuel do we have? Six million liters. That is plenty. Uh, I would like to go to research, and I would like to assign a lot of people to the new missile launcher. Because that's where I took people away from. And honestly, I quite like that, because it's good. Reload rate. Very nice. Would like more. Right, so how do I change the loadout for these ships? I think, honestly, if I go into here uh, and I go to Ordnance. Can I just, like, right-click? No. I don't know if there's any way for me to mass unload this. Oh, times 10, that applies there as well? Yeah. Okay, let's just do times 100 and get you a new fancy thing. Done. Right. Uh, let's switch over to the um, Craig. Right, no, not the Craig right. That doesn't need missiles. If it did, it'd be funny. Uh, let's just unload you and unload you. Uh, why, why, why am I seeing all these? These look like there's obsoletes. Missile obsolete. Right. Well, we certainly want to obsolete you.
There we go. Yeah, so I would like 100 of you. And then... 60 of you. Yeah, sure. That seems great. And I guess we just want to build like a crap ton of those. So industry, missiles. We're building 160 for each of those. There's roughly 10 ships plus those. So we're talking something along the lines of 15 times that. Call it 200 times 10, so 2,000 and a bit more. Call it 2,200 with spares, 2,500. Ah, if we're going spares, yeah, that's whatever. Fine, done. It's going to take three years to build all those. Oh, dear. We should just be building these all the time. Gonna take us years to switch over to that. That said, we are building more ordnance factories, so it's gonna still take us only two years. But oh well, we're just gonna have to cope for then. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, do a little bit more work, uh, build some more stuff, probably get some fuel out and start shifting the uh, the Craig right around because I mean that puppy's badass, but it does need fuel to be able to move around. So uh, I'm gonna start moving some fuel around. One of the reasons that I'm not gonna worry too much about that is because I am building a new Spooky Doom. The James uh, KN. Uh, that's going to be our tanker. We've got one tanker that's doing the backwards and forwards from the uh, planet uh, Uranus. Just getting fuel there. Uh, we're going to have another one who we can just use as our, like, go here. Do a fuel to this person. Okay. We're going to do that. I mean, while we're here, actually, we should probably design and build a drop ship. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's build a drop ship. So there's two schools of thought on building a drop ship. You build, well, I guess it's four, but it's basically um, a graph, an axis. You'd build them big and heavy, lots of, like, defense, lots of armor, shields, or you build them fast and light. Now, you build them big so that they don't get destroyed. You build them fast so they're very hard to target. They also can only be shot at closer range, um, but then again, they can't carry as many guys. So, we're going to probably go for the smaller one of the two. So we want a new class, and this one is the Lord Bacon class. Uh, so, uh, rename. Lord Bacon. It's a good class. A new array dropship. It's something like assault boat or something. Assault transport. There we go. That's a good one. Because we've got a troop transport and a sub transport. Big difference is one of them is military. So, and it probably will need a jump drive. But I want to try and keep it as small as possible. We could either have a company drop or a battalion drop. Battalion drop means that we can carry a size 5, I think. Oh, a size 10. Sure, we should be fine to do that. That means uh, we can transport two in that one. How big is it? Not that big. I'll also put on size in tons because I want to see size in tons. Um, conscript crew, no. Uh, yes, right. Now here comes the fun part. Engines. It's pretty tasty. Can't get it a lot higher than that. Load time. By cargo handling, does that make it go quicker? I mean, I, I don't know. Surely combat drop is just you get in, you touch the planet, and you get out.
I think you still need some to be able to load the people in, but I think when you drop them, it's just in and out. I just hope it is. Uh, right, so we're going to have a fuel storage large. I honestly think we need to design a new engine, because looking at this, I want a more powerful engine. Because I want speed. This puppy has to... I mean, it's going to drink fuel. But we're not going to use them very often. These are for combat drops. They're going to be rare. I think we need a much faster engine. So, let's find an engine. Because I want this puppy to go about 15,000 kilometers per second. The idea is, the main fleet advances, tanks as much damage, and then these puppies come in and get close. What happens is, if they get close and we haven't tanked up their anti-missile uh, fire, they'll fire the anti-missiles at our combat dropships. They're going to take a fair pounding. I do not like the, the prospect of that. Um, ten times the fuel consumption. It would drink fuel so fast. I think we'll, just because it'll take time to research, I think we'll stick with the current one. Um, we also need to find a military jump drive. I don't want to use a 20,000 ton military jump drive. That is way too big. Might have to go 10,000 ton. Or we could get carried by a Graceland. Have a Graceland carry us in. Then form up on the other side. That's a good idea, actually. Just have a Graceland carry each of our troop transports. Yeah. That means we can go smaller and faster. Uh, fuel. Not enough. We need another large. It's probably fine in terms of range. Maintenance life. These things don't need to be out there for long. If you're out there for long, you're doing it wrong. Deployment life. Let's try uh, get an engineering space on. And then another engineering space. Yeah, let's try bring it up to deployment time. One and a half years. We will need a second engine. The reason being, if the first engine fails, we certainly need a second engine around. We're going to try and bring you in under 10,000 tons. We will need layers of armor, because remember, we are going into enemy zones. Five layers of armor, 8,000 tons. Two engines. Drop module, cargo handling system. Now, it's worth having a look at uh, SeaWiz systems, uh, close in uh, weapon systems designed to take down missiles as they attack us. So, design tech, turret design, beam type. No. Okay. How do you use a Sea Wiz? Sea Wiz, there we go. Gauze cannon rate of fire, three. Beam control range, 10,000 kilometers. Now oh, we need to get a better one. Uh, fire control speed ring, four kilometers a second. 28 sensor. Turret tracking, no ECM. Six shots every five seconds. Dual. Gatling cannon, I assume that means. Uh, six hull size. Turret, two hull size. Fire control, two hull size. Overall size, 9.1. Tracking speed, 16,000 kilometers per second. Against anything faster, we'll have issues, but I think it's worth at least putting one of these on each ship. That said, do they need ammo? I guess we'll find out. I oh, would have to create it and... Screw it. These things are just going to have to tank for a moment. We can always upgrade them later. Um, goes 12 kilometers per second right now. Can we up that? Let's see. No. Not really. Not not for valuable commodity. Um, maintenance life is too low at the moment. We'd have to fix that. Maintenance storage bay, size. Ooh, it's a bit expensive on size. Engine engineering is like much smaller. 
Like it's 250 tons of maintenance, or engineering is like five. Wait, really? Now, maintenance storage bay is two. Mm, there we go. 1.4 years. The range is too low. Quite a large margin. Let's get rid of the large and let's get a... No, if I go... If I take damage and drain fuel on a very large, I should have several larges, so I've got backup. I need a redundancy. There we go. So we've over... we've got reasonable speed. Um... Wrong one. Comes in a little bit over my limit. And the maintenance life drops sharply. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to settle for about 11 kilometers per second. Um, we have to piggyback off a of Graceland. That should be fine. It's at least reasonably cheap. 184 crew. Should be able to drop um, two size 5 units. So that's basically like two army units, two infantry units. Uh, the important ones to remember are stuff like construction brigades. They're 25 as opposed to 5 size, so much bigger. But you don't really want to transport them with drops anyway. You want to transport them with troop days, so they tend to be bigger anyway. Um, this should be fine. And the idea is we'll get probably about... I might even go so high as 8. We'll stick with 6 or something for the beginning. That should allow us to drop 12 units. It might be enough to take them. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Okay. All right. Lord Bacon. I approve. Now. Luckily, we have a small military shipyard that has not yet been assigned anything. I would like you to tool up for the AT Lord Bacon Assault Transport. Set activity. Uh, yes, I would like you to do that. Because it won't actually stop your extra slipway activity because it was three. Um, you're currently working on a third slipway. Which would be interesting, because uh, that would be, you know, nice. But for now, the Lord Bacon. Add task. After Bacon comes... The Matthew... Chiati. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. After the Matthew comes... The Patrick Craig. A lot of Craigs. And I can't add that. Oh, well. Patrick Craig's going to be something different, probably, in the end. Um, now, one thing I've been debating is getting a, a... Like a fire ship, but not quite that. A tank. A pure tank. To sit at the front. Have a lot of uh, Sea Whiz, anti-missile defense, etc. Lots of armor, lots of shields. And basically to be the leader. And have a big sensor. The reason is, big sensor will draw fire. And also allows to scout further away. Then, just tank. Maybe a little bit of weapons, but mostly it's just a huge tank. Maybe even a close-in weapon, so that if we need to go close in, we can. Another idea might be something like a, a few beam frigates or something. Something fast, so if we start running out of missiles or they start choosing to target particular craft, we can be like, go, go ahead, fast. And these things shoot in at, you know, speeds like the freighter. But I think that's, that's a little probably a bit down the line. Because right now these still are making me Grey Sands and Spirit of Craigs, and I probably want to retool them to be able to do the next generation of these. Yeah. But yeah, okay. So we're going to close this up, and I should be good to do a little bit of work now. Uh, I don't think we'll actually have time for anything more in this episode. So this episode's been about making the next generation of Warheads. Um, making our combat troop transports and really talking about what they need. And we're mostly talking about the future of our military. Um, we have had a success, but we only killed one enemy craft, and it did take a, a fleet of several of our, our entire military, um, and about a thousand missiles or something. Yeah, maybe not the best of uh, wins for us, but we still won, and that's important. I mean, the infrastructure and the industry required to get that win was insane. It's going to take us several years to get back, but 
it's important. Anyway, I've been in Trilisium. Uh, next time, I think what we'll do is we'll probably be back in a few years' time when we've got missiles. And by then, we'll hopefully have refueled uh, the Craig and me managed to move the base around and terraformed a few planets because it terraforms so quickly. I don't want to pop back every time we terraform a planet. But you know what we're terraforming now. And especially if we can get it into uh, our lovely new favorite system, Alpha Centauri. Mwah! Very nice system. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to set up something over there involving cargo ships transferring materials around and getting them back into the solar system for Earth because Earth does still need uranium occasionally. But judging by how good Alpha Centauri is, I've got a suspicion we might end up actually doing some building in there. It's uh, that good. It's that good. Also, alien runes in both Alpha Centauri and over at, uh, where was the other one? Gillies? Yeah. So we're going to have a look at them. I think we've actually got some of our construction brigades on the way there or being loaded up right now. Yeah, they're being loaded up right now and they're going to take a month because I didn't put any cargo handling on them, which was silly of me. I need to remember to do cargo handling on them. I just don't assume they're cargo, but they are, but whatever. Anyway, until next time, stay shiny.